how is his uh, how is he doing the, 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 the moon is pointing huh well find them by the oath then why you're gonna be the moon listen i'm gonna be the oath why you be the moon get it you think the moon is stupid huh well then i'll go get your moon costume To Tim and Colo, I heard the moon waxes and wanes. What does that mean? From Devin. Hi, Devin. Here on Earth, the moon doesn't look like a perfect circle in the sky. Its appearance changes over time. It waxes or grows and wanes or shrinks. The moon goes through a cycle of different shapes or phases or over the course of about one month. In fact, the whole concept of months is based on this cycle. <laughs> Believe it or not, shadows have nothing to do with the moon's phases. You might be picturing that the Earth, the moon, sun are like this. But when everything was all flat like this, you could get a solar eclipse every time the moon was here. And a lunar eclipse every time it was here. In reality, eclipses are quite rare. Alright, let's see how it really looks. That the moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted around 5 degrees from our orbit around the Sun. So in most cases, any shot are cast by the Earth and moon completely miss each other. Alright, now that we clear that out, how about we see the faces in action? Screen, hollow. Like, like the Earth, half the moon's surface is always lit by the Sun and happens in the dark. By the amount of the, the bright side, we see the changes that the moon will moves through its orbit. Well, when the moon is directly between the Earth and Sun, forming a straight line. The entire bright side is facing away from us, so we see nothing at all, or at least a, a dark disk. This phase is called the new moon. Right, as you move along your orbit, more and more bright side becomes visible to me. In other words, the moon is waxing. Faces where you can see less than half of the bright side are called crescent moons. Well, when the moon has completed one quarter of its orbit around Earth, we, we can see half of its illuminated side. Astronomers call this the first quarter moon, but it's more commonly known as a half moon. Once you can see more than half, it's called a gibbish moon. When the moon and sun are, are opposite sides of the Earth, the entire bright side of the moon is facing towards us, so we can see a shining full moon. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, as the moon continues orbit, we see less and less of its left side. It's faces the one in gibbous phases. And when it completes the three quarters of its orbit, the other half of the bright side becomes visible as a third quarter moon. Next, it passes to the one in crescent phases. And finally, the moon comes back to where it all started, and we're back to a new moon. The amount of time between one new moon and the next is called a lunar month, and it's about 29.5 days. But for the time it takes for the moon to make one complete orbit around, there is actually a bit less, about 29.3 days. But remember, while the moon travels around the Earth, there is moving around the sun. So when the moon eventually one complete circuit, the has moved out quite a bit. The three bars now form an angle instead of a straight line, so you can still see a crescent moon. It takes the moon about two days to catch up and get into new moon position again. Okay, I'm gonna go get your moon costume. What's that? You say you already got your, your moon costume? Let me see it. Oh no. That's no moon. You're going to destroy the earth.